Welcome back to Defense of Global. Today we're answering a fascinating question. How is it that the Soviet-era MiG-25 with 200 kilometers of thrust can achieve Mach 2.8 to 3, while the modern F-22 Raptor with 300 kilometers of thrust struggles to match those speeds? It's an interesting comparison because the F-22 is lighter and has more powerful engines, yet it doesn't hit those top speeds. Is it because of the difference between turbojet and turbofan engines? Let's break it down. Let's start with the MiG-25. Developed in the 1960s, the MiG-25, or Foxbat, was designed specifically for high-speed, high-altitude interception. Its mission? To counter American bombers like the B-70 Valkyrie and reconnaissance aircraft like the SR-71 Blackbird. Its top speed of Mach 2.8 to 3 was key for these high-speed interceptions. To achieve these speeds, the MiG-25 was equipped with two Tumansky R-15 turbojet engines. These engines were designed for raw speed and high-altitude flight, with less concern for efficiency or stealth. Now let's compare that to the F-22 Raptor. The F-22 is a fifth-generation fighter built for a different set of needs. While speed is still important, its primary focus is air superiority, stealth, and versatility in modern warfare. Unlike the MiG-25, the F-22 doesn't need to hit Mach 3 to do its job. Its Pratt & Whitney F-119 turbofan engines produce around 300 kN of thrust, but the F-22 maxes out at around Mach 2.25. Why? Because the F-22 prioritizes stealth, agility, and sustained supersonic speeds, features critical for modern air dominance. Here's where things get technical. The MiG-25 uses turbojet engines, while the F-22 uses turbofan engines. Turbojets are essentially designed to push out as much air as possible, focusing on raw speed. But that comes at a cost, fuel inefficiency and high heat, which limits sustained high-speed flight. Turbofan engines, like those on the F-22, are more fuel efficient and provide better low-speed performance. They have a fan at the front that helps bypass air around the engine reducing heat and improving fuel economy. This makes them ideal for the F-22, which is built to be fast, stealthy, and maneuverable over long distances, but not necessarily the fastest in a straight line. So why can the MiG-25 hit Mach 3 with just 200 kilonauts of thrust? The answer lies in its design. First, the MiG-25 is built for speed at the cost of almost everything else. It uses a lighter airframe, straight wings, and the Tumansky R-15 turbojets to reach high speeds at high altitudes. However, there are trade-offs. At those speeds, the MiG-25 generates extreme heat, so much that parts of the aircraft were made of stainless steel instead of aluminum to avoid melting. It can only sustain these speeds for a short time before risking engine damage. Now, the F-22's turbofans give it a different set of strengths. The F-119 engines are optimized for stealth and supersonic crews, meaning the F-22 can fly faster than the speed of sound without using afterburners, something called supercruise. This ability lets the Raptor fly long distances at supersonic speeds without guzzling fuel. The F-22 also excels in maneuverability, stealth, and fuel efficiency, all thanks to its turbofan engines. While the MiG-25 can hit Mach 3, it can't supercruise, and it lacks the F-22's agility and radar evading capabilities. While the MiG-25 was designed for sheer speed, the F-22 was built for a more versatile role in modern combat. Turbojets like those in the MiG-25 excel at high-speed interception but suffer in efficiency and sustained performance. On the other hand, the F-22's turbofans offer supercruise, fuel efficiency, and greater combat flexibility, making it the better overall fighter in today's battlefield. At the end of the day, it's not just about how fast a jet can go in a straight line. It's about how well it can perform in the complex and demanding world of modern warfare. The F-22 may not reach Mach 3, but its combination of speed, stealth, and agility makes it one of the most formidable fighters ever built. So, while the MiG-25 wins the speed race, the F-22 Raptor dominates in almost every other area. It's a classic example of how different design priorities lead to different performance capabilities. What do you think? Is raw speed still the most important factor for fighter jets today, or has the battlefield shifted to favor versatility and stealth? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Defensive Global. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more defense and military insights. See you in the next video.